So you think the Rancho is big? Think again. This is the IAA and it's 10 times the size of the South African event. In fact, the who's who of the entire transport world is gathered here right now at the IAA. The theme of this year's show is the future of mobility and I'm hoping that's going to translate into leaner, greener and safer vehicles. Am I dreaming? Let's go find out. Based in Hanover, the IAA Transport Show is hosted once every two years and alternates with the Frankfurt Motor Show. Now we mentioned green trucks, but uh, this is not quite the kind we had in mind. This souped up Mercedes mod was quite green in colour, with the same theme followed through to the interior. It was quite an attraction, but we digress. Back to the real eco green trucks on display. There are an incredible 322 world premieres at the IAA this year. But for me, one of the most fascinating is this MAN hybrid truck behind me because it's actually designed for long distance applications. Now, for me, that's really fascinating because long distance and hybrid don't generally go hand in hand. It's a concept vehicle. When we started the research and development for the hybrid vehicles, we initially also thought from a sales point of view a distribution would be the appropriate segment, but then actually discussing the business cases, we do not find currently customers which are willing to pay for hybrid solutions in the distribution vehicles. So you need to find kind of a match between uh, uh, economical solution and uh, fuel savings and the cost for this hybrid system. And with this long haul vehicle, we have fuel savings of 8% on 150,000 Ks, what is the normal mileage on European highways. They can, after a couple of years, get back the investment. The only sense for hybrid is actually, from our point of view, long haul. And it's a parallel hybrid with a 130 kilowatt engine, and it works in a boosting method. It means when you go uphill, the engine gets some boosting support, and immediately when you go downhill, even slow downhills, two to three percent, the batteries will be recharged. And then at the next hill you get a boost effect again. It's not running yet. We are doing some tests, testimonials, in order to find the best solution. In fact, hybrid power vehicles were evident on quite a few of the manufacturer stands. MAN also showing off both their hybrid and their gas-powered buses, but more of that later in the show. Choosing a different technology strategy, Mitsubishi Fuso unveiled its e-cell concept model. Based on its canter range, this three and a half ton truck was developed for European markets. It's equipped with lithium ion batteries installed within the vehicle frame, which power a 70 kilowatt electric motor. This vehicle can manage about 120 kilometers after a six hour charge. Fuso believes the zero emissions vehicle is ideally suited for work in congested urban areas and because of the flatbed design it has multiple configurations and applications. European emission laws are becoming stricter as more pressure is applied to lower carbon emissions so this technology will become more commonplace in future. And on the topic of the future this is what trucks will look like in 2025 according to Daimler. Tracks that are full of technological gizmos on the path to autonomous driving. So a machine uh, never fails and so we are combining machine and driver's advantages to a perfect team. We want to have him in the driver's seat so that he can come back in a certain time to his driving operation but uh, we give him a comfort seating position so he can relax a little, he can raise his legs, he can do something with the tablet um, computer. So, but he's able to go back in his working operation, his driving operation in a certain time. Daimler made it quite clear that this development is not meant to replace the driver, but rather ease the monotony of highway driving. We see that the driver will remain uh, the critical factor in, in the trucking business for, forever. The big development, besides the obvious onboard controls, is allowing the flow of communication or connectivity between different vehicles. This, of course, has many advantages. 
We have a big advantage in efficiency because when we know there is something happening one kilometer or five kilometers ahead so we can decelerate, we can go in the rolling phase, we can go in the sailing mode and save fuel and have a very safe operation as well. So the connectivity is a, is a, is a core um, technology for going out from the onboard systems in a connected world and so this advantage is in fuel economy, in emissions and in safety. Just one of the many ways that they've improved aerodynamics is by removing the traditional side mirrors and replacing them with cameras which display on screen inside the cabin. LED lighting also has a new twist and really brings the truck to life. Any doubters who thought tracking was boring, well, you're going to have to adjust your view in light of this amazing truck. It never gets tired. It's always 100% sharp. It's never angry. It's never distracted. So this is a much safer system. Western Star showcased their brightest star in its family, the powerful new Optimus Prime. Yes, the truck has the heroic lead in Paramount Pictures' Transformers Age of Extinction. Developed specifically for the movie, many of the design cues and flashy aerodynamics have found their way onto the latest model offerings. A true indication that science fiction does have an impact on our everyday lives. All things tracking related are represented at the IAA show. Gearboxes, tires, components, and of course trailers of all shapes and sizes. But one stand was a little less ordinary. We're accustomed to eating food from around the world, but have you ever wondered how this is possible? Actually, it's thanks to companies such as Thermo King, which practically invented refrigerated transport. And since 1938, we've been the leader of transport, air conditioning, and refrigeration, safely transporting food and people in trains and buses and obviously in trucks and trailers also by marine containers uh, from one continent to the other so we keep the supply lines for food safe and we keep also food in that condition that it can be consumed and enjoyed in other continents not just avocados in south america or tuna fish on the on the beach no they can go anywhere and therefore consumers have a wider choice in in food we have a couple of very innovative solutions for the truck and trailer business and also for the bus business, right? And one of the steps we're going to do at this stage is that we're going to switch from the R404A, which has a fairly high global warming potential, to a much more eco-friendly R452A, which cuts your CO2 footprint uh, with 40%. If you think about the cold chain, the fact that the food needs to be at a certain temperature all the time means that you can't take any guesses or you can't just improvise. So the 452A refrigerant is a tested refrigerant. And the good thing about it is that you can actually use the same system you have and the same components without needing to replace anything and drop in the same refrigerant. Another area of concern is distribution of food in urban areas. If you think about night deliveries, and certainly when it's hot outside, our units make a certain level of noise. And we are the first to offer a peak compliance system, which means that you can do deliveries at night or after hours below 60 decibel. And that's really, really almost like whisper quiet. And that's why we also call it uh, the whisper unit. If you're below 60 decibels, you don't really hear anything. African market is now developing very strongly for obvious reasons. Obviously, Africa is a, is a hot climate uh, continent so anything you do there needs to be air conditioned or needs to be if you like at a temperature that the food is safe and what you see is that certainly in South Africa with an upcoming middle class with people who are requesting standards of life air conditioning buses air conditioning and trains but also the safety of food and also the choice and the variety of food that really there is no choice but to deliver these in a safe refrigerated environment so we've been the leader in South Africa for more than 45 years. And we've done so with innovative solutions, but also solutions which are competitive in the market.
During the week of IAA, the nominees for the best truck, bus and van for 2015 gathered a gala evening for the announcement of the winners. The annual awards are organized by the jury of 25 leading journalists from major international commercial vehicle publications. The International Truck of the Year 2015 is Renault Truck Range T. This award means a lot for us. It's a fantastic award. First, of course, it's a great recognition for all the job that has been done to build this fantastic truck, to design it and to build it. But it's also a fantastic reward, really to, to show that Renault Trucks is making is our revolution, moving to a new era. This truck gets a very, very good uh, feedback when it comes to the customer and the journalist each time. Journalists and customers are able to get behind the steering wheel. They really uh, see all the performance of the truck, drivability, uh, the drive line, the comfort inside of the cab, and all the feedback are very, very positive. And of course, fuel efficiency is a very, very important parameter in our industry. And this truck is born to be fuel efficient, especially regarding the aerodynamic and the shape of the cab. The new daily, the third generation of our Vico's light commercial vehicle, was named Van of the Year for 2015. The winner is the van that, according to the jury, has made the greatest contribution to the standards of efficiency as well as the sustainability of transport of goods by road with respect to the environment and the safety of people. Phew, quite a mouthful, but respect indeed, especially when it won by a margin of 17 points over rivals from Fiat, Ford, Renault, Opel and Mercedes. The final award of Bus of the Year went to MAN's Lion City GL. A big factor in taking the spoils was the engine, a very economical unit that runs on natural gas, biogas or e-gas. The CNG tanks are located on the roof of the bus and with a volume of just over 2,000 litres, it does enable a long operating range. The new concept, it's a CNG articulated bus, the only bus uh, on the road with five doors which means uh, you can gain 10 seconds on every bus station. So we are really delighted, honored and proud. The bus is also fitted with new ticket machines to further optimize the passenger flow. Tickets bought by smartphone can also be scanned on them. Furthermore, the bus provides internet access in a free Wi-Fi hotspot and clever lighting really helps create an atmosphere of well-being. A real worthy winner. There are over 2,000 companies at the IAA this year, and MAN has the second largest stand. They're doing much more than just dispensing advice about trucks and buses, though. They're also dispensing a whopping 140,000 beers. Prost! After the break, we'll be back with more from MAN, Dongfeng, Volvo and Mercedes. Don't go away. Big news on the MAN stand, which brought out all the bigwigs, was the launch of the heavy-duty TGX trucks, powered by the D38 engines, combining extraordinary performance with the utmost efficiency. We always tend to think that everything is bigger and better in Europe, and maybe in the case of the D38 that's true. It churns out a massive 614 horsepower of power, or 477 kilowatts. Not impressed yet? Then hear this. It also offers three thousand newton meters of torque. We are delighted because we have launched now the new D38 liter engine, 15.2 liter engine, uh, about 500 horsepower. So we were looking forward to brand new engine, lightweight, 3000 newton meters, already available at 9.30 RPM, the most powerful engine brake. It's uh, good stuff here. Fascinating new products. Uh, it's a lot about total cost of ownership. It's all about that the customer has to make money with our trucks. I think uh, we are really in a very, very good position now. 
new engines, new specification, new options, efficient line two, which has proven a new record run. So I think the future will be good. We have to be sustainable. We have to get fuel consumption down, CO2 down. To do this, we'll have to work with a palette of different solutions. Electrification, hybridization, CNG, biofuels, and other alternative fuels. So for us, this really to master this complexity in different solutions for different applications is one of the most important issues. Now here's something really lacquer. Mixed telematics is as South African as Bryflex. And the really cool thing is that the company name is becoming increasingly well known in Europe too. This year we're launching a number of products. One of the exciting products uh, for Europe, but is also applicable all around the world, is our ability to be able to monitor driving hours. A key safety factor is how many hours a driver drives. You know, we've seen even in South Africa, responsible operators are interested in this kind of information and to ensure that their drivers are not driving too long and that they're driving safely. Some of the other things that we're, we're launching at the show are our Mix Roby, uh, which is a display. We've got a, a range of displays. This new display, the Mix Roby 2, is a ruggedized display. It's larger. We're quite excited about it. It's our first display that runs on the Android operating system. And uh, so it'll give a lot of scalability. So we're quite excited about that. We also have our second release of our Mixed Vision product, and this is a product that allows owners of vehicles, uh, the fleet managers, to be able to see not only into the vehicle and see how he's driving, but also there's a camera that faces outward onto the road. And the benefits of this is obviously you're actually in the cab and you're able to see what is occurring. Very important for accidents to be able to understand what happened in an accident, whose fault it was, and also for, for training. The new version has some new features, for example it's got infrared, so at night it uh, gives better vision and it's also got uh, sound and then a faster modem in it to be able to communicate this information back to the office quicker. We also have our MixGo solution. The MixGo is a handheld solution, so effectively our software runs on an Android phone. The benefits of this are that uh, you can not only see where the drivers are driving, but dispatch them, jobs, messaging. Also, as the driver gets to do a job, very configurable as to what the workflow should be when he gets to that job. If there is proof of delivery required or proof of service, uh, obviously with a phone you've got the ability to be able to take a photograph as well. This solution works either integrated into our fleet management solution or as a standalone phone. Also, uh, an Android solution. Our large product is an integration with a, a product called Alkalock, and Alkalock is a product that is effectively a mini breathalyzer in, in the vehicle. So the driver has to blow into the breathalyzer and pass before the vehicle will start. We also give some very nice reporting to look at trends to see how your driver is operating and if they have repeat defenses with the, with the Alkalock system. So that's quite exciting. We caught up with another South African at the MAN stand. For me, one of the highlights, of course, is the truck behind us, the 26 540. 540 horsepower, that's what you read in the name, 26 ton, the configuration of the vehicle. spec really for the South African application. Euro 5 engine, it can run on our diesel, not a problem, we don't have any restrictions in terms of diesel availability. The latest modern engine, a bigger cab than what we used to, but for the guys that want a flagship truck out there at the top, the 26 540 is the one to go with. There are 200 Chinese companies at the IAA this year, but for me this one, Dongfang, is the most interesting by far because they've never sold their products in Europe before, which begs the question as to why they're actually here. Dongfang Trucks is one of the uh, leading truck brands in China. We have a strong our presence in China and well known by uh, Chinese customers. Uh, in 2030, we sold 172,000 units of trucks. It's first time for us to be in Hanover for a, a exhibition. We are leading uh, Chinese truck brands, but our strategy is to develop Dongfeng to be a global brand. Hanover, you know, is worldwide influential professional truck show. This is a good platform for us to communicate Dongfeng truck brands. Ladies and gentlemen, I bid you a very warm welcome to the Dongfeng Trucks exhibition.
Please let me introduce our new truck, Dongfeng KX. Freshly penned from its design office, the KX is a new truck that meets the demands of the long haul operators. Amazingly, the Chinese market for trucks is equivalent to the combined European and North American markets. Insane. Dongfeng is the largest maker of heavy duty trucks in China with over 20% market share. This moment, I'm very excited uh, and proud of our exhibition in IAA. I met a lot of visitors. They are very interested in our products. So far, a lot of positive feedback. Some people are nervous of Chinese products, and for good reason. But I've got to tell you that I've driven these trucks in China, and I came away enormously impressed. They're fitted with solid Cummins engines, the ride quality is good, and as far as I'm concerned, they look terrific too. We have established a strong foothold in Southeast Asia and other strategic markets. Our strategy is to continue to open connections in new markets and to evade new business opportunities. The important thing for us is trying to provide not only a professional truck product to our customer, but also we can strongly support for the service aftermarket. It's very important. Now in a pretty bold move, Dong Feng has sponsored a racing yacht in the current Volvo Ocean Race, arguably the world's toughest sailing event. The 65-foot boat forms part of a one-design fleet consisting of seven teams. I think it's a very good platform for us to uh, communicate Dong Feng brands globally. This is a battle amongst the sailing elite, a nine-month marathon on the seas, passing through four oceans and five continents. And also, World War Ocean Race is uh, values connected well with those of our brands. This will be a real good mix with proven international sailors and of course the newbies, inexperienced Chinese sailors who will rotate amongst the crew on different legs. But the Volvo relationship goes way beyond just this race. Our partnership with the World War is ongoing. Uh, it's steadily moving forward. Everything is going well. Now is at the last stage for improvement. We have planned to cooperate with the World War, so I think it could be possible we have product with World War technology. And staying with Volvo, they had some exciting news of their own. New developments, new features. The new product range is full of innovations that make a Volvo truck drive as smooth as a premium car. The individual front suspension, which contributes to outstanding control, was communicated with a daring ballerina stunt in 2012. The benefits of the Volvo Dynamic Steering, making a heavy truck easy to steer with phenomenal precision, were emphasized by the hamster stunt and, of course, by Jean-Claude Van Damme. Over 75 million YouTube viewers have watched the epic split film. And today, it's time to launch another feature that was born on the racing tracks. A technology that has influenced the powertrains of most premium car brands, the dual clutch gearbox. The Volvo iShift dual clutch is the first in the world designed for heavy duty truck paired with our efficient 13-liter Euro 6 engine. In situations that require intense gear shifting, such as hills and curvy roads, iShift dual clutch brings heavy trucking driving into a new dimension. The Daimler stand was also a hive of activity, offering great variety like the Zetros the ultimate statement in combining the creature comforts of home with rugged ability. And of course, an all-time favorite, the Unimog. Oh, enough said. Another highlight was the launch of the new Vito. Nine new Vito models were on display, demonstrating the broad spectrum of this van. 
starting with a 65 kilowatt front wheel drive worker panel van with extremely low fuel consumption to the top of the range veto the Tura Select with a full complement of equipment and all available assistance systems 140 kilowatts and an automatic transmission you will see that the design lines of the veto is getting much closer to what we have in our passenger car size uh, and on the Viano, which uh, we have a couple outside here, is now, will now be called the V-Class. Every South African customer I had with that vehicle in the last couple of days absolutely over the moon. I hope we can get enough of them. The new V-Class is the largest member of the passenger car family from Stuttgart. This luxury MPV sets a new benchmark, seating up to eight people very comfortably. And from one extreme to the other, in one corner of the Daimler stand, a newcomer to the trucking market with origins that some might find rather surprising. Now this is really interesting for South African transport operators. A little birdie has told me there's an excellent chance the Indian-built Barrett-Benz trucks will be heading our way. We all know that Indian trucks do represent outstanding value for money, but in the past the quality hasn't quite always been up there. Of course, with the association with Daimler, that's not going to be an issue with these vehicles. To top off the show, Iveco provided a new interpretation of the delivery van. Dubbed the Vision, this hybrid panel van with its panoramic windscreen and translucent roof really creates a sense of space. The overwhelming impression from this year's IAA is that the commercial vehicle industry has made huge strides when it comes to addressing issues of environmental and safety concern. In fact, vehicles of today are definitely leaner and greener than ever before. Does the industry still have its challenges? Yes, of course, but these are being addressed in a very proactive way. One thing is certain, the future of mobility looks good.